Asthma during pregnancy is a risky situation for both mother and fetus, which is why it must be controlled by obstetricians from the start of pregnancy. Asthma during pregnancy is a risky disease for both the fetus and the mother. It is estimated that 3 to 6 percent of the world population is affected by this disease, which makes it a very common pathology. Asthma is an obstruction of the smallest parts of the airways. This obstruction causes difficulties in respiratory mechanics, especially during the expiration. Asthma is caused by inflammation of the small bronchi. In pregnant women, asthma is the respiratory disease that most often complicates pregnancy, as this Spanish study points out. According to statistics, between 4 and 7 percent of pregnant women experience asthma-related complications at some point during pregnancy. However, it is very unlikely that an asthma attack will occur around the time of childbirth. The critical time is usually between the 17th and 24th week of pregnancy. That is to say at the end of the second trimester. It is indeed during this period that the number of consultations of pregnant women related to asthma is highest in the emergency departments. On the other hand, it is during the last month of pregnancy that the number of consultations for this disease is the lowest. The consequences of asthma during pregnancy. If a pregnant woman with asthma is not properly monitored, complications may arise both for her health and that of the fetus. The key risk is the lack of oxygen. The oxygen that circulates in the mother's blood is also the one that feeds her baby. Thus, the decrease in oxygen supply affects both parties in the same way. According to this study published in the Journal of Asthma, asthma during pregnancy is able to cause the following disorders in the mother. Pregnancy hyperemesis. These are symptoms of intense and prolonged vomiting. This is not the typical morning sickness of the first trimester, however. Here, the episodes are frequent and usually cause weight loss. Preeclampsia. It is also called toxemia of pregnancy. This is a syndrome characterized by increased blood pressure in the mother, edema due to fluid retention and loss of protein in the urine. Gestational hypertension. This is the increase in blood pressure in pregnant women. Finally, a premature birth. Although it is not common for asthma symptoms to appear around the time of childbirth, labor can still be induced because of asthma. And in the baby, asthma during pregnancy can cause the following complications. Intrauterine growth retardation. This is because the repeated lack of oxygen causes a slowdown in the growth of the fetus. He may therefore be smaller than normal for his gestational age. Low birth weight when the baby is born underweight due to intrauterine growth retardation. Neonatal hypoxemia. During childbirth, the baby may have insufficient oxygen supply. In this case, he will need intensive neonatal care with an external supply of oxygen an increase in perinatal mortality. If asthma during pregnancy is not controlled, there is a risk of infant death. Asthma medications during pregnancy. During pregnancy, it is important to decide with your doctor which medicines you can take, according to your needs. Not all medicines are safe for the mother or the baby. This is why medical advice is essential. In the case of asthma, most medications are safe for pregnant women. In fact, it is assumed that uncontrolled asthma during pregnancy is more dangerous than the possible side effects of the drugs given in this case. In some people with asthma, allergy desensitization injections are used to reduce asthma attacks. If the pregnant woman uses such injections before becoming pregnant, then she should continue this treatment during her pregnancy. However, it is contraindicated to start such treatment during pregnancy. After childbirth, breastfeeding is not affected in any way. In addition, women with asthma are advised not to stop taking their medication while breastfeeding. How to avoid complications. There are basic steps a woman with asthma can take during pregnancy to reduce the risk. This is always accompanied by professional advice and appropriate medication to be defined by his doctor. These preventive measures are now. Do not smoke. In addition to increasing the risk of congenital syndromes in the fetus, smoking also complicates and worsens asthma. Control the triggers. Acute asthma attacks occur on contact with certain substances that are best avoided. These include dusty environments, cigarette smoke and the fur of some animals. Observe checkup appointments with the doctor. Pregnant women with asthma need their doctor to see them more often than other pregnant women. 
Take your medication on a regular basis. Taking asthma medication must respect the times and doses prescribed by the doctor. You should never self-medicate in such circumstances. Pay attention to the warning signs. The doctor will provide the pregnant woman with a list of symptoms which, if they appear, will indicate the need for prompt medical attention. These symptoms are usually shortness of breath, a severe cough that becomes chronic, and a fever. Control gastroesophageal reflux. It is indeed common for pregnant women to suffer from gastroesophageal reflux disease. The problem is, these refluxes can intensify asthma symptoms. That is why you need to take preventative measures at home. For example, elevating your head position in bed, splitting daily meals into smaller portions and delaying bedtime, allowing two to three hours after dinner, and avoiding foods that trigger reflux. Asthma during pregnancy. Asthma during pregnancy involves significant risks for the mother and the fetus. Therefore, if this happens, it is important to see a doctor and follow the recommended treatment. In addition, it is also essential to be attentive to any symptom indicating the beginning of a complication.